King James Bible, the second book of Chronicles, chapter 34. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned in Jerusalem one and thirty years. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, and walked in the ways of David his father, and declined neither to the right hand nor to the left. For in the eighth year of his reign, he, while he was yet young, he began to seek after the God of David as his father. And in the twelfth year, he began to purge Judah and Jerusalem from the high places and the groves and the carved images and the molten images. And they break down the altars of Belim in his presence and the images that were on high above them he cut down, and the groves and the carved images and the molten images he break in pieces and made dust of them, and strewed upon it the graves of them that had sacrificed unto them. And he burnt the bones of the priests upon their altars and cleansed Judah and Jerusalem. And so did he in the cities of Manasseh and Ephraim and Simeon, even unto Naphtali with their mattocks round about. And when he had broken down the altars and the groves and all the and had beaten the graven images into powder, and cut down all the idols throughout all the land of Israel, he returned to Jerusalem. Now in the eighteenth year of his reign, when he had purged the land and the house, he sent Shaphan the son of Azaliah, and Messiah the governor of the city, and Joah the son of Jehoaz the recorder, to repair the house of the Lord his God. And when they came to Hilkiah the high priest, they delivered the money that was brought into the house of God, which the Levites which the Levites that kept the doors had gathered of the hand of Manasseh and Ephraim, and of all the remnant of Israel, and of all Judah and Benjamin, and they returned to Jerusalem. And they put it in the hand of the workmen that had the oversight of the house of the Lord, and they gave it to the workmen and that wrought in the house of the Lord to repair and amend the house. Even to the artificers and builders gave it, they gave they it to buy hewn stone and timber for couplings, and to floor the house, houses which the kings of Judah had destroyed, and and the men did the work faithfully, and the overseers of them were Jehath and Obadiah, Obadiah, the Levites of the sons of Merari, and Zechariah and Meshulam of the sons of the Kohathites to set it forward in, uh, in other of the Levites, all that could skill of instruments of music. Also they were over the bearers of burdens and were overseers of all that was wrought, of all that wrought the work in the manner of service and of the Levites that were scribes and officers and porters. And when they brought out the money that was brought into the house of the Lord, Hilkiah the priest found a book of the law of the Lord given by Moses. And Hilkiah answered and said to Saphon the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah delivered the book to Saphon, and Saphon carried the book to the king, and brought the king word back again, saying, All that was committed to thy servants, they do it. And they gathered together the money that was found in the house of the Lord, and delivered it into the hand of the overseers, and to the hand of the workmen. Then Saphon the scribe told the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest hath given me a book, and Saphon read it before the king. And it came to pass, when the king had heard the words of the law, that he rent his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah and Ahikam, the son of Saphon, and Abdon, the son of Micah, and, and Saphon the scribe, and Aziah the servant of the king, saying, Go inquire of the Lord for me, and for them that are left in Israel and in Judah, concerning the words of the book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is poured out upon us, because our fathers have not kept the word of the Lord to do after all that is written in this book. And Hilkiah and they that, that the king had appointed went to Holda the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tikvath, the son of Hazareth, keeper of the wardrobe, now she dwelt in Jerusalem in the college, and they spake to her to that effect. And she answered them, thus saying, The Lord God of Israel, tell ye the man that sent you to me. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place, and upon the inhabitants thereof, even all the curses that is written in the book, which they have read before the king of Judah. 
because they have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods that they might provoke me to anger with the works of their hands therefore my wrath shall be poured out upon this place and shall not be quenched and as for the king of judah who sent you to inquire of the lord so shall ye say to him thus saith the lord god of israel concerning the words which thou hast heard because thine heart was tender and thou didst humble thyself before god when thou heardest the words against this place and against the inhabitants thereof and humbled thyself before me and didst rent thy clothes and weep before me i have even heard thee also saith the lord behold i will gather thee to thy fathers and thou shalt be gathered to the to thy grave in peace neither shall thine eyes see all the evil that i will bring upon this place and upon the inhabitants of the same so they brought the king word again <clears throat> then the king sent and gathered together all the elders of judah and jerusalem and the king went up into the house of the lord and all the men of judah and the inhabitants of jerusalem and the priests and the levites and all the people great and small and he read in their ears all the words of the book of the covenant that was found in the house of the lord and the king stood in his place and made a covenant before the lord to walk after the lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and with all his soul to perform the words of the covenant which are written in this book and he caused all that were present in jerusalem and benjamin to stand to it and the inhabitants of jerusalem did according to the covenant of god the god of their fathers <clears throat> And Josiah took away all the abominations out of all the countries that pertained to the children of Israel and made all that were present in Israel to serve even to serve the Lord their God. And all his days they departed not from following the Lord, the God of their fathers. Chapter 35 Moreover, Josiah kept the Passover unto the Lord in Jerusalem, and they killed the Passover on the fourteenth day of the four, first month. And he set the priests in their charges, and encouraged them to the service of the house of the Lord, and said unto the Levites that taught all Israel, which are holy unto the Lord, Put the holy ark in the house which Solomon the son of David, king of Israel, did build. It shall not be a burden upon your shoulders. Serve now the Lord your God and his people Israel, and prepare yourselves by the houses of your fathers after your courses according to the writings of David, king of Israel, and according to the writings of Solomon his son, and stand in the holy place according to the divisions of the families of the fathers of your brethren, the people, and after the division of the families of, of the Levites. So kill the Passover and sanctify yourselves and prepare your brethren, that they may do according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And Josiah gave to the people of the flock lambs and kids and all for the Passover offerings for all that were present to the number of thirty thousand and three thousand bullocks. These were of the king's substance. And the princes gave will willingly unto the people, to the priests and to the Levites, Hilkiah and Zechariah and Jehiel, rulers of the house of God, gave unto the priests for the Passover offerings. 2,600 small cattle and 300 oxen. Conaniah also, and Shemaiah and Nathaniel, his brethren, and Heshabiah and Jael and Jehozabad, chief of the Levites, gave unto the Levites for Passover offerings 5,000 small cattle and 500 oxen. So the service was pre prepared, and the priests stood in their places, and the Levites in their courses, according to the king's commandment. And they killed the Passover, and the priests sprinkled their blood with, from their sprinkled the blood from their hands, and the Levites flayed them. And they removed the burnt offerings that they might give according to the divisions of the families of the people to offer unto the Lord, as it is written in the book of Moses. And so did they with the oxen. And they roasted the Passover with fire according to the ordinance. But the other holy offerings shod they in pots and cauldrons and in pans, and divided them speedily among all the people. And afterward they made ready for themselves and for the priests, because the priests, the sons of Aaron, were busy in offerings of burnt offerings and the fat until night. Therefore the Levites prepared for themselves and for the priests, the sons of Aaron. And the singers, the sons of Asaph, were in their place, according to the commandment of David, and Asaph and Heman and Jeduthun the king's seer, and the porters waited at every gate. They 
they might not depart from their service, for the brethren the Levites prepared for them. So all the service of the Lord was prepared for the same day to keep the Passover and to offer burnt offerings upon the altar of the Lord according to the commandment of King Josiah. And the children of Israel that were present kept the Passover at that time and the feast of unleavened bread seven days. And there was no Passover like that kept in Israel for, from the days of Samuel the prophet. Neither did all the kings of Israel keep such a Passover as Josiah kept and the priests and the Levites and all Judah and Israel that were present and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. In the eighteenth year of the reign of Josiah was this Passover kept. After all this, when Josiah had prepared the people, Necho, king of Egypt, came up to fight against Chechemish by Euphrates, and Josiah went out against them. But he sent ambassadors to him, saying, What have I to do with thee, thou king of Judah? I come not against thee this day, but against the house wherewith I have war. For God commanded me to make haste, Forbear thee from meddling with God, who is with me, but he destroy thee not. Nevertheless, Josiah would not turn his face from him, but disguised himself that he might fight with him, and hearkened not unto the words of Necho from the mouth of God, and came to fight in the valley of Megiddo. And the archers shot at King Josiah, and the king said to his servants, Have me away, for I am sore wounded. His servants therefore took him out of took him out of that chariot and put him in the second chariot that he had and they brought him to jerusalem and he died and was buried in one of the sepulchres of his fathers and all judah and jerusalem mourned for josiah and jeremiah lamented for josiah and all the singing singing men and singing women spake of josiah in their lamentations to this day and made them an ordinance in israel and behold they are written in the lamentations now in the rest of the acts of Josiah and his goodness, according to that which was written in the law of the Lord, and his deeds first and last, behold, they are written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah.